Hello and welcome to my own approach for fitness gamification. A week ago I have presented you an idea about how to gamify a fitness training session and because many of you ask me for details, today I want to present you my own approach for my uh, fitness training, my personal fitness training session. Uh, I have gamified this uh, training session because, as you know, uh, sometimes your body needs to train but your mind doesn't want to train. This uh, approach uh, started with the idea of a Canadian physical education teacher. By the way, Joey, thank you a lot for your great work and keep doing this work because uh, we all benefit of your work and um, your ideas are awesome. So um, I have found some cards and um, an example for uh, physical education at home during these uh, hard times. And uh, I took those cards and uh, transformed them and inserted them into my own fitness training session. On the left side you can see Joey's card and on the right side it is uh, the modified card. So uh, let's see what kind of elements do we have on each card. In the upper corner, upper left corner, you can see that I have introduced experience points. On modified card you see seven experience points. These are linked to exercise difficulty. In the bottom left uh, corner you can see the exercise that you have to, to do and uh, next to this exercise you see three numbers the first number, uh, look at the right card. The first number, 5, it is linked with the first level of this training session. The second number, it is linked with the second level for this training session. And the third number, 15, in our example, it is linked with the third level for this training session. My training session has uh, three levels. So um, for first level you will take the first number which is next to exercise that you have to do on our card. For the second level you will pick the second number. In our example is 10. And for the third level you will take the last number or the first number from the right, 15 for our example. So as you see the numbers will tell you how many repetitions you have to do for that exercise. And if you didn't watch Joey's presentation, I have to tell you that for every level you have a specific number of attempts to win the card for each exercise. Because this is a part of gamification. For level 1 you have only one attempt, for level 2 you have three attempts, and for level 3 you have five attempts. For these attempts you can flip a coin or you can use a dice. I use a dice. This was the introductory part. Now let's begin. This tutorial has two parts. In the first part I will present you my uh, gamified fitness training session. A step by step presentation. So uh, if you want to, even if you want to train, you can use all 30 exercises and all uh, cards that I have made. And uh, in the second part of this tutorial, a shorter one, I will present you this gamified idea 
in a such way that you can use it without uh, these cards. So if you don't want to build these cards, you can still use this uh, gamified fitness training session. Alright, so this is the main part of my gamified workout, a workout which I use when I want to trick my mind. But don't forget about warm up and cool down. I know that to create those cards implies a lot of effort and some specific skills. So I show you how to gamify your workout using only an app on your phone. You need to choose an app that provides you a random experience. On my Android I use Random Number Generator or Random UX. Random UX gives me 5 options to randomize my experience and uh, for this workout I use list. Open the new list, delete those three items and paste your exercises here. Scroll down and change your settings if you need so. To generate the first exercise, touch the bottom right button. So what do we have on each label? A unique code for each exercise. The name of current exercise. Those three numbers corresponding to level 1, level 2 and level 3 of difficulty. And experience points earned for the current exercise. Beneath your exercises label you can monitor the number for your current exercise.
Now let's sum up these two main techniques of gamification and uh, let's see how can you use this on your advantage. My idea is to reward your clients only when they achieve a specific number of experience points. Let's say 1300. This number of experience points represents 10 fitness training sessions if you count them. Many personal trainers already reward their clients who participate to 10 workouts, so I say now let them feel the process of achieving this level of development, let them feel they earned it. This is a very powerful tool that will modify their behavior in the future. Another powerful tool to influence your client behavior is to give them the opportunity to change an exercise or to not execute an exercise during their workout. However, I recommend that this control over the training design also needs to be gained. And you will give your client this right for the next training session, let's say if today he won at least 15 cards. In my example, if your client won 15 cards, then he or she will be allowed to change the number of repetitions for one exercise. If, instead, your client won at least 20 cards this workout, then he or she has the right to eliminate one exercise from the next training session. But this must happen when the training session takes place. Well, fitness lovers, that's it. I hope this will help you create better workouts for everyone. And until next time, take care.